This looks like game one, and I think production saw me in there, so they know I'm commentating, so hopefully I'm not muted, but winner semis, RJ versus Blue Jay. I think the names were reversed for a second, and this is a battle with Jays, and I'm also Jay, so this is kind of crazy. It's a triple J feature. Um, Samus versus Sonic. RJ, very methodical. He'll get his percent really quickly, and wow, he gets his stocks quickly as well. I will say, someone who plays different games as running Sonic does not seem like the easiest thing. Wow, the patience. Also, I am like breathing heavily for some reason, but. I want to see how Blue Jay gets around the projectiles. Because this game, I don't want to say it's going to be played on RJ's terms in the sense that RJ's going to throw his projectiles in a certain, certain way to play against Sonic, and then Blue Jay's going to have to adapt. Because that's how I'm seeing it. Maybe just because of the seating, I'm like, oh, the better the top player's gonna play their game. The bottom player has to find a way in. But it could also be that Blue Jay's gonna be maneuvering, gonna be weaving, bobbing and weaving, and then RJ has to pl place his projectiles in a way that he covers all options that can happen. Tries to go for the up tilt there, but the down tilt comes in faster. That was a weird walk trot kind of deal. I will say this looks close, but. Oh, I think that air dodge actually killed RJ because you can't air dodge it. I think it extends your stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I was going to say it looks close in percent, but yeah, I think RJ was looking for an up throw there just because he did get the stock early. So, yeah, it's 2-1. RJ being up, Blue Jay I feel like has a lot of work, just cause I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Sonic sometimes doesn't kill well, and that could just be me, and I know that RJ's gonna be fishing for stuff at high percent as well, but also just like regular charge shots can get it at a time. Has not something tricky there, Blue Jay getting the spin dash into the forward air like he did in, before the first stock, but how he's gonna take this stock this time is the question. He's kind of got it on edge guard, but it's like, yeah, can you get Samus off stage here? That's the thing. Gets another kind of edge guard going, so it is 1 1. Blue Jay doesn't have as much percent as he did in the, on his second stock, so I want to say this is more doable. Like, he's not going to die in one hit here. I don't know what he was going for there, but I am not a Sonic person. I am not an Ultimate person. So, hey, let's just say it's that blue magic. He's not going to kill off the top anyhow. Just the, the up there percent is good. Getting staying and letting him stay up in the air. RJ is going to be a bit tricky with those bombs, but still, I think Blue Jay will capitalize. Yeah, see, like the down B giving RJ some like breathing room. It's even percent. That's all I can say. Ooh, I think that was a bit of a mistake from Blue Jay. I don't think it was like, oh, what is he doing? I think it was just a misinput in that sense. He's like, oops, I kind of have to go with it now. He's looking for something. Wants a fair and wants to get RJ off stage like he has. All three skip kills so far. Tries to get the, I don't think he could get the forward air there, but he gets the back air. Not it so far, but this is looking very bad for Blue um, RJ. And he does actually, I think Blue Jay surprised. I think he's like, wow, did I really just take that game? Because he lost his first stock almost basically as a zero to death. I will say, I have to commentate the set, then I actually have to go play a different set. Just because we are doing round robin in a different game today. So, um, these, two, these two characters, these two players, I'm going to say, there's no, no doubt about it. Like, I, don't, I haven't seen either of them play a different. Yeah. All right, game two. Um, staying PS2 because it's freaking 
ultimate. Like, what else can I say here? I'm not gonna lie, this is... I feel like RJ had the game, but... Blue Jay, Blue Jay brought a good comeback, guy. I, I can't... I can't deny that. So if you're a Blue Jay fan, that was a really good set to see. Like, we haven't really seen... I feel like Blue Jay has called out a lot of RJ's recoveries to stage here, so it's kind of like... What can he do, in that sense? Like, he's gonna have... Like, he's mixed it up, but yet he's been called out for it, so it's kind of like, well, that sucks. Like, yeah, he almost makes it back there, but it's just like... The back air just kind of catches everything there. Dash attack. Gonna try to get him off the stage again. Maybe expect him to go to the ground, but... Blue Jay almost dying to dash attack there. He's taking his time, but still, Blue Jay still catches out. That's the thing. It's like Blue Jay has been so good at these edge guarders that it's actually, I think, it brought him game one. It might bring him the whole set at this point. I'll smash takes it. I think RJ has been getting better combos off here, but as I say, that he misses a grab, which is barely bad for someone with a tether grab like Samus. Yeah, I feel like Blue Jay has been having a bit of a tougher time. It's just been like those few spin dashes into aerials. But the edge guards from Blue Jay have been phenomenal. I see just like a forward tilt there, dash attack. Good near into back air at least. Dash attack won't take it here. Almost took it with rage last time, but not as much rage this time. He doesn't have a jump here, so I want to see. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know if Blue Jay, or Blue Jay knew that knew that RJ didn't have a jump there. I heard the double jump sound, so maybe Blue Jay knew as well, and it went out. It's like you can't do anything here, so I'm just gonna go out and take your stall. And again, like just that offstage play, like almost that edge guard situation, has been so crucial for Blue Jay. Or is he going to try and take the stop desperate, especially because he's down a lot here? That's not going to take it, unfortunately. Like, he need, like I won't say a grab will take it, but yeah, like, a, now a good, decent charge chart will take it. Or a missile, if possible. I wish he could... Whoa! I don't know what happens here now. Production's all stand... Like, TOs are standing up. Everyone who is watching is now just like, what happens now? Okay, okay, wait, wait, we're back. I don't know how they want how they want to do it. I think they're trying to discuss themselves. Like, hey, how do you want to do this? Because it was at least it was in a grab. I think I think they're just gonna play it on. That's fine. That's totally fine. Oh wait, what is going on? <laughs> both players leave their set. Both players leave their chair. Production, you might need the camera on me or on. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do this. They're behind me on my set if you want to change it to it, but yeah, right now they're kind of just standing around because they don't know what to do. Production has gone up to the stage. I, I think they're wondering what is wrong as well. I think they're trying to figure it out. I actually might hop off if that's the case just because I do need to play a different set, but... Luigi's on the mic. How do you do this? They're just, just speaking to the mic, just speaking to the mic, you're good. Right there, right there. God is not on my side today, boys. <laughs> God is not on my side. The one time I'm up, the one time I'm leading this set with this guy, I'm 0-8. The one time it's about to be 1-9, and they do this shit. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to swear. But like, <laughs> bro, bro, come on. Come on. <laughs> Holy. Damn. Hey, dang, dang. Both yeah. members, damn, they're taking out the switch now. Like, bro, they do the... <laughs> oh, my gosh. God. This game sucks. Nintendo, fix your da your your game. Like they saw you winning, and they was just like, "That's what I'm saying." The game said, "Oh, yo, hold up. <laughs> He's flipping the script." Nah, nah, not happening. This game sucks. I'm telling you, Nintendo trying to ice out Blue Jay. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo uh, themselves are like, "Nah." Yeah. Oh. Oh. They have oh, it. Oh. Yep. All right, guys. Time to go get farmed. <laughs> Blue, time Blue to go Jay's get farmed. Go hey, y'all be safe. Y'all be safe. <laughs> 
Man's going back to stage. That was quite a quite a thing. <laughs> Man's like, oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Don't DQ me, don't DQ me. I, I didn't leave. Yeah, thing is, right now, Blue Jay just got a grab, so I think they're okay to play. I don't know. I think I think they'll just play it on. I don't think they'll do. Yeah, I think. I kind of want to see. Like, are they gonna quit? Yeah, I think all the TOs in production are up on stage with them, so I think they're going to try and figure out a ruling for this just because it's like, do you, does RJ want to reset? Like, who? there's no one at fault here per se, so you can't be like someone's decision is better than the others. It's like literally, like, production has to make a tough decision here. I think they're going to play it out from here just because, yeah, Blue Jay was just in a grab. So they're going to wait a bit, let it play out. The timer's going to be maybe a factor here. I don't think they'll play, They'll do that much with it. Yeah, they're playing it out. 1-1. One, one. Blue Jay mentioned himself that he was 0-8 against RJ. I was like, damn, he was playing this really well, though. Like, he was getting those kills, those crucial kills. Ooh, that just dodged the charge shot? Excuse me? Shout out to both players, though, for just getting right into it. Because I know, like, some won't. But, yeah, they... You know, they listened to production. Shout out to production and the TOs as well. Just, like, figuring out what to do and understanding what was going on. Just like, hey, like, Gid, who's TOing this week, was like, yeah, give me a pro controller. We're going to try and figure this out. Okay, Blue Jay has him off stage, but he's not. Yeah, he's trying to go for that back air. That going to be it? No, not yet. I think, yeah, it's just, like, lack of rage there. Oh, the call out. See, the call out's back with Samus coming down. Blue Jay has been so crucial with that. Game two goes to Blue Jay. I should be playing my other set, but I kind of want to accommodate this because I think this actually might turn out bigger than you think. Especially if you're tuning in, and I don't know, production probably already has prediction over, but hey. Hold on, I'm going to ask something. Actually, no, I feel like the other game TOs might just be like, why is he commentating? But. I didn't know get sets would be over. That's my thing. <laughs> I feel bad. Three, two, one, Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, Blue Jay's thinking. If this is a 3 0, then I'm chill. If it goes to game 5, then I'll hop off. Let's put it that way. We had quite an interesting game, too, but Blue Jay was able to close it out. 2 0 to RJ right now. and So, not RJ, to Blue Jay. I gotta go ahead to commentate this set. But it's like, well, afterwards, you gotta play your match. This is why I feel I feel bad, but it's like, also, the other game going best of five round Robin. I enjoy a lot of games, but I also have to realize that, like, since a lot of people are cross entrance, it's gonna take a lot of time. Blue Jay now in this position again. Will he get this read? RJ lands on the platform. He has a jump, but he's still above Sonic, which I don't think he likes too much. Char Char kind of neutralizing the spin dash there. Jumping over, RJ. Yeah, RJ wants a dash attack there. He wants an up throw of some sort or a charge shot of some like of some kind. That will do a lot of hit stun. You see, that's going to take it. Yeah, now he's got his combo started. Oh, this is the fair though. Trying to get him off stage. Oh, interesting near. I kind of wish he went for up there there, but I think he thought he was gonna go too like far away, away from stage. That's what I mean. Home attack missing there. Back air gonna take the stock. Only 40%, so this can easily be made up. We saw in game one, our uh, Blue Jay was behind a lot, but he kind of made up like a 70%. Like difference. Like I see RJ running away a bit. I don't know how well it's working per se. It's because Sonic is the faster character. It's kind of like I feel like you should be zoning out more, but I guess that is what it is. It's just the keep away game. Oh, that's gonna take it. Yep. 
I will say for Blue Jay's sake, I kind of hope he takes this, especially after he was on the mic. It's just like, well, can he do this? Like, you know, 0 and 8 now going, like, taking your first set. Oh, just going down there. Oh. I thought he'd live that. I'm not going to lie. I thought he'd live it. But, hey, people can be wrong. <laughs> Take the camera on. <laughs> oh, Blue Jay had this, the funniest face there. Yeah, going back to PS2, I don't blame him. What time is it? Oh, I have time. I'm going to play the same thing over and over. Never mind, we're good. Anyways, game four. I, I think, I don't know, I think RJ's adapting. He's like, I gotta like mix it up or try not, try to read how Blue Jay wants to cover me coming back down to the ground. Cause that's how I died. Cause that's how I lost game one and two. Game three, he got his percent like he did in the first two games. And then he kind of just, you know, he made some good avoidances. We'll leave the same here. We'll Blue Jay adapt as well. Like we'll try and read it, pay more attention to it, try to get better combos. I feel like he's been lacking in that a bit. Jumping over it like it's a freaking Mario Party minigame. Oh, I think, like, fortunately for Blue Jay, he got hit by the charge draw. We kind of put him out of range of the best smash. I don't know if RJ was expecting him to now just, like, dash forward still, like, maybe with the buffer, and he charged the F-Smash. But, yeah, it didn't work out. That's not going to do it. Yeah, he throws him off. Like, up throw is not going to do it from that first time. Oh, nice patience from Blue Jay. Kind of wait until RJ wasn't right next to him at the ledge. But as I say that, he takes... RJ gets a down air, kind of gets that stock. A solid 40% once again. Blue Jay again going to look for that. You're going to watch him try and probably try and take RJ off stage here, if possible. Up, not the best way to do it, but. Oh, kind of gets out of that up B, because usually the last hit kind of puts you in a weird spot. Again, this is like a percent difference we've seen Blue Jay come back from, so. Sol solid. Solid 50% here. Oh, another 60. You see, now, now it's even again. Like, again, like we've seen Blue Jay make these um, percent comebacks. He's going to make it to Sonic Spring. Oh, interesting going to ledge there with a the directional air dodge. Oh, good maneuvering around the tether. Calls out some sort of attack there. Gets the up air, but it's not going to do it at this range. Dash attack also not going to do it at this range. Maybe a bit, one more will do it. Oh, they, these are trying to fight each other, but they are not getting it. Uppy doesn't do it. Oh, that charge attack actually might have done it. That charge attack can be deceptive at times. Nice parry. Yeah, RJ's going to throw out these tiny charge charts because they interrupt stuff like that. Back air, not going to do it so close, though. Oh, that looked dangerous for Blue Jay. I'll put it that way. RJ kind of stu st stood there, though. Oh, it's, ah, yeah, it was a bit too late on the uppy punish. Trying to be tricky, but the up throw is, is going to do it here. The last stock potentially for RJ in winner's semis. I do believe he is the first seed, but Teal, the Teal did tell me that, damn, this is going to be... Anyone can take this tournament at this point. Our resident usual number one seed is at Big House. Our Big House is this weekend. Go support the homies if you are an Ontario man. If you're not, go support Ontario anyways. Support Canada. Support Canada. Let's put it that way. I also say this weekly may have. I was like, no way RJ's gonna lose a stock like that. Ooh. 
Blue Jay wants to take the show bat. And his first set win, apparently, against RJ. He could taste it, dude. Oh. I was looking around, and RJ got a down air. All right, I'm needed, so I'm actually not going to come take game five like I said I would. Never mind, I'm back, because they asked me if I want to play Amis, but I don't. Just because I'm going to leave, and I also have to play Project... I have to play a different game. So, Game 5. Of course, we're going all pro PS2. I didn't see how... I know Game 4 ended with a downer, but I don't know how either player got in that position, unfortunately. Damn, it's tricky with the spin dash there, but both players are tasting this, and I think the pressure is actually more... On Blue Jay here, because a reverse 3 0 is going to be tough for him. I want to put it that way. I think RJ also is going to like going to be pressured here, because it's like, damn, like he actually took two games from me here. I don't know if their sets like Blue Jay mentioned he was 0 and 8, but I don't know if that was a close per se. Not going to do it. Bang. At least if this goes the wrong way for Blue Jay. He has a solid excuse because of that Game 2 icing. Nice directional air dodge. Oh, footstool. Maneuvering out of stuff here. Not going to kill. RJ jumping the other way was smart because otherwise he might have been flipped that up there. I think I think Blue Jay wanted a fair there, but he just didn't, ar it just didn't come out. I'm not going to kill still. Jeez. RJ going to live a lot here, but... Okay, just drop down with the bear. Perfect. Not going to do it? Oh my gosh, that does it. This is... I won't say this is not doable. I think Blue Jay can do this. Solid percent. That chair shot still has. That's crazy. Missing just out of range of the F smash. Stopping just short, which is good. Oh, I think he tried it. I think he thought he'd like use the down B as a barricade, not necessarily as a distraction. Because if you went behind it, then it's like, oh, it's like, you're going to try and hide behind the bomb. But if you go in front of it, it's like, oh, you thought I was going to go behind it, in a sense. Oh, you needed that punish. Not going to take it still. Jeez. get this punish. Okay. This is doable. There has to be so much maneuvering with Sonic here. Like, this is might be where Blue Jay shine. That Nair was scary because it doesn't give a lot of hits on there. Punishes the up B. Another one. <laughs> Misses it, though. This is looking. Is that it? Oh! RJ clutches that out. He is relieved because that was so close. I blame game two. <laughs> nah, Blue Jay could have tasted that. That's crazy.